I never thought I'd say this about Get A Clue, but if you like true crime, watching this may frustrate you. It's not a terrible film. There are a lot of things about this that I thought worked really well, except the development of the narrative. This was released in 2002, directed by Maggie Greenwald and stars Lindsay Lohan and also Bug Hall. script is written by Alana Sanko. And this is on Disney+. Plus. I realised I'd never seen it, despite the fact I was probably the target audience when it came out. I was about 10 years old and I never saw it. I don't know why. But I'll read the description from IMDb, then I'll talk around it. I'm not going to... I'm not going to give too many spoilers, but there may be one or two things that may spoil a few things with, because I need, I kind of need to explain why I find it very frustrating. Um, But I will just say for the most part, it's it's worth watching. It's relaxing. It's pretty fun. But once it gets to about the halfway mark and the narrative begins to develop, it's uncomfortable. So the description from IMDb is as follows. A wealthy student with too much fashion sense, her equally rich friends and her rival superior from the school paper work together to solve the case when their teacher goes missing. So our protagonist is Lexi Gold, played by Lindsay Lohan, and I will say I really enjoyed her performance. I think she was a great child actress. Um, you know, some people have certain opinions about Lohan, but I actually really enjoy the work she did as a child, uh, or I guess teenager. And Lexi as a character is... She's, she writes the gossip column at school. It's actually the advice column. It's called the gossip column. She publishes this article about two of her teachers who have more than a friendship. And it actually goes into one of the bigger newspapers outside of her school, which I didn't know was a thing. I don't know why they'd be interested in this article. But regardless, that happened. And then one of those two teachers goes missing. And Lexi and her friends take it upon themselves to try and solve this while the police, the detectives, are also on the case. And this is where the slight spoiler comes in. They begin to do things, first of all, that teenagers just wouldn't do. And obviously they're reporters for their school newspaper. They have an eye for detail and they do have a nose for investigation. And I completely get that. I grew up dreaming of a career as an investigative reporter. And, you know, my interest changed to other areas of writing. But for me, in terms of the passion, this film I would have lapped up as a child. And I do think if you're about 10, 11 years old and you're interested in journalism, you'll love it. You'll get a lot out of it. But for me, now as an adult, granted not necessarily the target audience, but there are things wrong with this that may provide the wrong information about what it's actually like. They begin to find bits of evidence and things and they tamper with it and they withhold information from the police when they find out things. And obviously this is not meant to be the most serious film ever. But just as a true crime fan, I'm sitting there seething, thinking you you need to hand this over, you need to not touch that. And it's really frustrating. So that's just something to bear in mind. So the narrative for me, it was all right, it was interesting. If you're young, you might like it. If you're not, you'll probably be able to identify the identify identify the flaws quite quickly. Regardless, I enjoyed the acting. I enjoyed the costumes. Really gorgeous early noughties fashion in this. The set designs were really great. Brenda Song is in it. She plays Jennifer. Bug Hall plays Jack. In terms of every other aspect, it's actually really good. The soundtrack, the music, I really like that. The pacing itself is actually really good. Even though I don't like what's happening, it does develop quite quickly. Um, It also encourages children to spy on people, which is not great. But kids will be kids. It's not the first film to do that. It's certainly not the last film to do that. That's just another, you know, another strike against it. That means it's not quite perfect. Would I recommend it? Yes, for fun. But don't take it seriously. It's great kind of background viewing. It's not exactly one way you need to pay full attention, otherwise you'll not understand what's going on. Although there were times when I thought it was a bit far-fetched and over the top. But for the most part, it's decent enough. Frustrating. But I realise I may be not alone, but in the minority of viewers there getting frustrated at those things. Not bad. Good performance. Decent enough concept. 
Not a perfect execution, but still pretty fun. 